what kind of feedback do you get in terms of the Latin American people's reaction to things like our own uh, student unrest and student rebellion? They have been, for some time, had to cope with student problems. Yes, they have, and the fact that they have had to cope with student problems, perhaps traditionally, is uh, makes them intellectually perhaps more, a, more more aware of the student relationship in a politicized sense to to the population as a whole than we have been. But I've just come back from two weeks in South America, and I think it's fair to say that the members of government, their governments, to whom I talk are concerned about the picture that the United States of America projects, which is in what they know is what they read in the papers. Uh, they are concerned about the fine line in the United States of America or anywhere else between political action and, and anarchy, if you want to use a very strong word, or law and order, or order, or discipline, or national purpose. Well, I'm not sure that's true. I, uh, I don't believe that. We'll have to wait and see how the campaign develops uh, to uh, actually, uh, I think, distinguish between the two. But I'm sure there are a number of differences between them. Are there any that you could demarcate at this point? Any clear differences between the two? Oh, as individuals, uh, I would I wouldn't try to attempt at this particular point in time to try to say how one would act under a given set of circumstances and how another one would act. I think the principal difference is going to be that that uh, George Bush is inevitably going to be tied to uh, to the president's program and to the president himself. Uh, Lloyd Benson will not, uh, just to the contrary. Uh, uh, he would be more uh, prone to be critical of this administration and of its program. Uh, now, when you when you get down to certain basic issues that are before, uh, before the people today, uh, I'm sure there's going to be many of them on which they will agree. There are many on which all of us will agree. I felt all along that uh, what happened uh, would happen. I, I really felt that. Governor, do you agree with uh, Senator Yarbrough that it was the Republicans crossing over that caused his defeat? And would you advocate, as he does, a changing in the primary system? Well, number one, I don't agree with him at all. I don't think that happened. I, I think if you look at the results, uh, the counties that Mr. Benson carried, and you take Jefferson County and Orange County and Angelina County and uh, Nacogdoches County and all of East Texas and uh, uh, over 200, I've forgotten the precise number, uh, approximately 200 plus counties that he carried. I just don't believe uh, that statement is in accord with the facts. What do you think did cause this to be I'm of the opinion, or I think that uh, Yarbrough beat himself at the best to capitalize on things that Yarbrough Well, I think that's basically right. I, I, I think uh, you, you first take, oh, you can always reconstruct a campaign and you can say if this had happened or that had happened, the results would have been different. Uh, I don't know what a, uh, a light vote did. Uh, I'm not sure a heavy vote would have changed the results. I personally don't think so. I think Senator Yarbrough made certain basic mistakes. I think he has been making them over a period of time. I think Senator that uh, uh, Lloyd Benson basically capitalized on those mistakes, and uh, that was the uh, that was the primary.